being offered as a your consideration. Let me sort of summarize what this amendment does. Um, this amendment deals with Ohio's Academic Distress Commission. This is a reform proposal um, to try to make the Academic Distress Commission uh, more effective and um, work, work in, a, in a manner that is going to truly turn around those districts that we are having problems with. Um, current Academic Distress Commission provides districts with no assistance until they have received three Fs in a row. By that time, however, a culture of failure has already set in and is very pervasive and it's hard to control. New intensive supports will begin under this proposal after a district receives its first step and will include the appointment of an improvement coordinator to spearhead academic and turnaround efforts. The new Academic Distress Commission will begin after a district receives three Fs in a row, as was previously the case. The new composition of a five-member commission will include three members appointed by the state superintendent, one appointed by local government executives, such as the mayor, and one teacher appointed by the local school board president. The commission will then appoint a chief executive officer to run the district. If a district starts to improve, as evidenced by earning at least an overall C, it triggers a two-year transition plan out of academic distress and back to normal district management and control. Assuming that it does not improve, the following pattern will take place. In the first year, the CEO will have full managerial and operational control of the district including all management rights to improve student academic achievement and strengthen the school district. The CEO creates an improvement plan within 120 days of being appointed with input from community stakeholders and educators. Special funds will be made available from the state and can be augmented with local support to improve the achievement of students including supporting community learning centers, which are public-private partnerships that provide health services, mentoring, and even early childhood education services to a school and its community. The Academic Distress Commission with the state superintendent will expand high-quality education options in the district. In year two, the CEO may identify and plan for the expansion of successful schools and programs, as well as any school in the district that needs to be reconstituted, effective the next school year. If deemed necessary, the CEO may reopen any provision of a CBA for bargaining under normal bargaining rules. The CEO can defer this authority into the future if it's deemed not necessary or relevant at this time. In year three, students begin using expanded quality choice options, applications having been completed in the previous year. The CEO may limit, change, or suspend any provision of a CBA, provided there is no reduction in per hour compensation or changes to insurance benefits. Third, the CEO's suspension ability and guardrails on compensation and benefits continue for all future years. In years four and five, the CEO continues the improvement plan and makes changes to schools as needed. Hopefully by the end of this five-year process, the school will be out of academic emergency. If a district has an academic distress commission for five years, the local school board will transition from an elected board to a board appointed by the mayor. The mayor will appoint board members from a pool of candidates selected by a community group representing parents, teachers, principals, business community, higher education, and the academic distress commission. Once the district improves, the community can choose to return to an elected board or continue with an appointment by the mayor. Um, as you can see, this is a 
fairly extensive amendment. It was offered um, just in the last 24 hours, which is the reason why we have been in the back room trying to sort exactly what this amendment does. So I think you might have a greater appreciation for the delay um, in our hearing today. This has been request, requested by the administration, the Department of Education, and um, while it carries my name, I'm not the author of it, so if I don't seem to know every line in it, you now know why. Um, at this point, I would like to call up the next witness.